everybody, this is Jackie from Bronx Bobbles and I'm bringing you another exciting video. This video is going to be a part of my Bronx Bobble box series where I dig into my jewelry box and pull out specific pieces to showcase to you. And it doesn't necessarily have any history or inspirational stories, although sometimes I will throw some of that stuff in. It's just you taking a look in my jewelry box and checking out what I have. And this video, I'm so excited over because it's called Pretty in Pink, where I will be showing you my pink brooch collection. And I'm really excited because it sort of reminds me of that 80s film with Molly Ringwald was the star and it was called Pretty in Pink. And I just love pink and I know you guys do too. So without further ado, let's just get this video started. Pink is such a beautiful color. It's the color of love and compassion. It's the color of maturity and sensuality. It's the color that calms people. It's the color in gender reveal parties that tells you you're having a girl. Pink is such a phenomenal color. You see it everywhere. And it combines both red and white so that those two colors combined, the red for passion and fury and love and the white from purity and you put those two colors together and you get this magnificent shade of pink and i just love it and i know that you guys love it too so how did i come up with this video idea well as you guys know i'm always shopping um, at the thrift store and i'm always looking for interesting containers for my jewelry. I came upon this amazing, gorgeous, Indian influence, handmade paper mache box. And it's just stunning and beautiful and it has this gorgeous pink. And then that same day, I ended up picking two new pink brooches. And I said, wow, how serendipitous. And I realized I have the content of my next video, which is this one that I'm filming right now. So. Come with me and I'll take you through my pink jewelry collection. So let's get started. So along with that beautiful pink box, I ended up picking up this simply divine, gorgeous, pink, triple decker, heart, poured glass in an almost iridescent pink with these tiny little seed pearls at the ends. And it has that groupeau um, effect. There's no name brand on it, but it's just simply divine. And I wish you could see the iridescence that are, that's in this brooch. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Super excited to find this piece. And then a few months ago, I found this gorgeous pink Juliana glass brooch. It's demure in size, but it, it has such a beautiful impact. And it has these little cute rose posies with these specialty stones that are called margarita stones with this gold filigree uh, around it. And it has these Marquise uh, rhinestones that are both in light and dark pink. And this is actually a piece that's in um, the catalog of Juliana, even though Juliana pieces do not have marketing. It has all the earmarks of a Juliana piece. Over 30 years ago, I was obsessed with Victoriana. And this, this is one of the first pieces I bought. And I thought it was incredibly beautiful. It's a hand-painted rose motif on porcelain. And it has this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, gold painting over it. And it has the typical C-class. And this is probably from the early 1900s, I would say. So it's, it's a really, really old piece. It's huge, it's big. They consider this a sash brooch. It's so beautiful. I love it. It's one of my oldest ones from my collection. And I also have this smaller size one um, with the same idea. Everything's hand painted on this porcelain. As you can see, the size difference. And I also have this teeny, teeny, weeny, itty, itty bitty negligee 
uh, piece in there. I had two of these at one point. I couldn't find the other one. I'm not sure what happened to it. But this is actually not on porcelain. This is on goulash, which is um, an enamel inlay on top of a piece of metal with a hand painted little tiny rose and a halo of tiny itty bitty seed pearls super super cute so you have the mama and you have the baby and you have the big sister as you know uh, last week her royal highness uh, Queen Elizabeth passed away and she had a long long life and I visited England a few years ago and here is a picture of me in front of Buckingham Palace and um, I thought it was really really fitting that I have this crown pink rose colored uh, crown or tiara as you can uh, see and it has beautiful clear rhinestones and it's very very fitting for what's happening um, this week with Her Royal Highness and also this sort of has that um, Her Royal Highness motif for me it has the style of regalness and um, I think this is very fitting for her royal highness uh, so these are tribute pieces to her I have a flower power enamel rose a flower uh, collection one of the flower powers are this gorgeous gorgeous I mean simply divine beautiful enamel painted brooch in the color of pink and what I love about this piece is the 3d uh, dimensionality of this brooch as you can see it's it looks and acts just like a real rose and here's another one that's more of a two-dimensional piece and this one is from Park Lane and it's just as beautiful with that blushy pink and a little bit more of uh, pink in the middle really really a super piece and just look at that isn't that gorgeous I also have this posy. I love this piece. This piece is also painted in different uh, shades of pink, but it has these beautiful rhinestones inside every single one of these little itty bitty teeny tiny little flowers. If any of you know what flower this is, please leave me a comment below. It's just simply gorgeous. In my collection, I also have sterling silver pink confections of beautiful beautiful pink flowers this one is done in a pink rhinestone uh, just simply beautiful and it has all these little cubic zirconia pink uh, and it's on a sterling silver backing look at the size of that it's just so cute and so beautiful and i wish that the camera could capture how brilliant the stones on this piece is really, really stunning. You can't do pink brooches without including something in the pink quartz family because no other stone out there symbolizes a love or the attraction of love the way a pink quartz stone does. And so how fitting is this stone that's also encased in sterling silver? And this is a recent purchase. I just love pink quartz and I wear it all the time. And I actually keep a little rock in my pocket. And so this is be nice to wear on any shirt, jacket, or you can put it on your purse or attach it to a necklace or put it on as a bracelet. Super, super gorgeous. This was uh, one of the pink brooches that started out this video. I bought this at the thrift store for, I believe, $3.99, and I just simply love it. This brooch has specialty stones, and they're carved almost like a margarita, but not quite, and it has these glass little tiny leaves and the different variations of pink, almost like an ombre effect. Super, super gorgeous, and look how stunning it is. One of my piece de resistance is this amazing, gorgeous, gorgeous brooch. And this is in the shape of a pink flamingo. OMG. 
flamingos get their color pink from shrimp. So the more shrimp that they eat, it changes the colors of their feathers. And this one is actually a trafari piece. Um, and this is from 1998 QVC. And it's actually um, part of a limited edition rare collectible. And this brooch, although I think I paid $14.99, which is kind of steep for, for, for me, this is actually a, probably a $200 brooch, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. And I'm so excited that it's in my collection. Check out this gorgeous pink wreath. This is so stunning. The, the stones on it are very brilliant, but this is not a Juliana piece and it's not Mark made in Austria. So it's, it's just really, really beautiful. And again, sort of has that her Royal Highness feel um, to it because of the laurel uh, reef motif design. And it's so versatile. You can put this on a hat, you can again wear it on a collar, you can do almost anything. And it's just super beautifully and pretty in pink. This is another stunner pink brooch. I just had to have it. And I bought this probably about three years ago at the thrift store. And I think I paid like $5.99 or something to that effect. And this one actually says made in Austria. So these are made in Austria crystals. And it's perhaps um, uh, probably from the, the, the height of the costume jewelry craze in the 50s. These two together, just stunning. Um, and you can tell the difference perhaps with the stones from this piece which is made in Austria and this piece which it doesn't have a marking on it you can see the brilliance of this piece here just really really gorgeous now I'm going to show you this little tiny um, piece and this is from Avon and this has a pink almost like a poppy uh, flower motif on it really really super I see these quite often so you could probably get these pretty easily um, just really really cute now we have here a pretty and pink cameo. This is so adorable. It's one of those scatter pins that you can put with probably another pin and they'll probably look good together with the Avon pin. And this one is made of glass. And I just love, love, love this shade of pink. I have here two opal glass brooches. This one was a recent find. I bought this perhaps like two months ago and this one. Well, this one is one of the original OGs. I got this from a box that my father gave me when I was 11 years old. So it's quite old in my own collection, over 40 years old. I'm not gonna tell you how old, but over 40. And um, it has an emotional, sentimental value to me. So when I saw this, it sort of reminded me of this. And these are faux opal made in the style of Mexican opals and it's just beautiful. Here is another one of my original OG's brooches. This was also in that box that I received from my father when I was 11 years old. And this one, it's there's nothing really to it as far as um, it's constructed semi-cheaply. Um, these are plastic and not really glass and behind it is this like foil and um, but because of who gave it to me and how long I've had it in my collection, it has a lot of deep sentimental value to me. And I always tell you guys to always keep the jewelry that has that sentimental value, whether it's a place that you bought it, or somebody that gave it to you that was special, or someone that's no longer with us. You know, those are the pieces that, that really mean a lot. And so I'm so happy to have this one in my collection. This is another pink milky glass uh, brooch. And I bought this maybe two years ago and it came with other, like three other um, brooches, but the other three brooches are in different colors and this one has that milky, um, it has that milky pink color. Last, but certainly not least, and also one of my piece de resistance is this stunner of a brooch. This one has a little bit of green leaves to it with this gorgeous, gorgeous glass um, flower motif. And um, this is a pretty substantial size. And I've probably had this in my collection for 15 years. And 
But what's even more special about this piece is that it has uranium glass. So that it just adds an extra cachet to this gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful brooch. I love this brooch. It's definitely one of my favorites just because of the color combination between that pink, pink, that, that hot pinkness and the gorgeous, gorgeous lime, lemony, uh, green, uranium glass leaves. Just really, really a stunner. So my friends, I hope that you enjoyed this Bronx Bobble Box sneak peek at my jewelry box. Pretty in pink. I love it. And I hope that you love it too. And if you do, please hit the subscriber button if you're not already subscribed. I have over 600 subscribers and I'm well on my way to monetizing. So I'm super stoked about that. And so the more that you help me out, um, to, to get up to a thousand subscriber, I would be immensely appreciative. And my favorite, favorite part is your comments. I just super, super love them. And I'm hoping that each and every one of you can leave me a comment because I respond to every single one of my comments. And tell me which one of these brooches are your favorite. So thank you so much. Y con tanto, tanto amor.